as always, I'm going to do a review <coughs> of the game because I just finished it. Uh, we just finished the Leon. Uh, I don't know about um, Claire Redfield, but Leon was amazing, dude. I, I, I freaking think it, it, what he embodies uh, his speech. Again, we didn't play Claire's. We don't know the, the, you know, we don't know how it goes, but for a fact that we have a, a young police officer that is noble, he's heroic, he's ready to sacrifice himself. I love the fact that there was this constant, uh, can we trust her with Ada, which is nice because she's technically the only other like person you have except for Claire. The puzzles were nice, uh, there was a lot of plays where I got stuck. I needed the walkthrough, but this is normal to the Resident Evil game puzzle. Is it as good as Resident Evil, Biohazard or Village? <coughs> Probably not, but... It is super enjoyable, and honestly, it was a really good story. It was hard. It was fun. It was scariest part, not that scary though. Um, definitely uh, played some scarier game, but honestly, strongly recommended for a remake. A bit short, uh, but again, we did only did the half of it. It's probably like a nine-hour game. Uh, so yeah, so this is pretty much it. Uh, the weapons were nice. It was a lot of missable, but again, this is a Resident Evil, so it's normal. And if I had to give it out a note out of ten, it's an eight, because although it's small, I I really enjoy my time. Although it's hard, you feel like you falsify something when you completed it. And yeah, was really fun. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna end the stream here, and then we're gonna be playing a uh, true Claire campaign. I'm gonna figure out who's that girl, because I don't know who that girl is. Oh, after 